back at home. It is two o'clock and this one just woke up. Yeah. It's because you stay up till one. We're on the wrong side of the schedule. You didn't have a good tummy last night, did you? Go in and get something to eat. I've got to go again and you can't come with us, so. Go get something to eat. Yeah, but why did you want me to come out here? Say hi, because I'm not coming in. <laughs> if I go in, I'm going to get too tempted to get all the other stuff done and I don't have time. Okay. okay. Love you. Yeah. Kaylee's probably not going anywhere anytime soon, so she'll be here to watch you. Ignore my red face. I just kind of wiped it with a, a little face wipe. I'm not doing like foundation these days. I actually kind of like it and my skin's pretty clear. I always have pink cheeks. I don't know if that's rosacea. I don't know what that is, but uh, there's a car. You can get by. Parked in front of our house, obviously. Um, but the best news. I, I didn't want to, Abby doesn't ever like to have me talk in front of her um, on the camera. Um, and I was able to talk to Jason on the way home and my dad on the way home from her dentist appointment with the surgeon, I guess. He's the surgeon slash dentist. I went in not, I don't even know what I was expecting. I just th thought we were doing post-op and making sure the surgery went well and she's recovering. And yes to all the above, she's recovering well. He, he was like, so what are you having a hard time eating the most? that you want to eat. And she was like, chicken nuggets. I tried to eat chicken nuggets yesterday and I couldn't eat them. And he's like, you're right on track. And she was like, like that's not what I wanted to hear. And he's like, no, 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 that's a good thing. He's like, right now, it would be hard to eat chicken nuggets. So you're fine. Just give it another couple days and you'll be back to eating chicken nuggets soon, which she only eats them like every couple months. She doesn't eat them all the time at all. But, what I didn't expect to get from the, the doctor was information about her upcoming surgery. Um, we've known that she needs to fully grow before she can have her jaw surgery, if you're new. Um, that's why we started with the wisdom teeth surgery to get all those teeth removed. Before that, we had other teeth removed that were crowding out her mouth. Um, I think she had a total of four or five teeth pulled just from like the regular dentist oh, or, or them coming out before we actually went to that appointment. Some of them just came out naturally. I'm trying to clean my little Yeti. I need to wash the lid off better. But anywho, we've known that she's like a year and a half or two, or at least we thought, out from having her jaw surgery. Her jaw, the bottom one is not aligned with her top jaw. And that's where a lot of the pressure is. So wisdom teeth surgery, done, recovering, fine. Then the doctor says today, he's like, okay, so now the plan is to let her fully recover for the next six to eight weeks. But in that time frame, I need you to contact your orthodontist, get her scheduled for her consult and start the process of braces. That's interesting because braces are the first step toward surgery. And so I was like, I would kind of give him a look and he was like, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We are talking about surgery now. And I was like, well, what does that mean? He said, six to eight weeks, get that consult appointment, start the process, get insurance covered. We know that they take forever to do their, um, you know, process of approval. Start that now so that when she's recovered, she can get her braces on and in six months come back and talk to me that'll be winter time and we will schedule her i i'm i've kind of held it in a little bit but because she she didn't abby didn't want to see my emotions too much but um the surgeon said today um in six months after she's had her braces on for six months. I will make sure she is fully ready to schedule her for her jaw surgery for next summer. Mind blown. Just blew our minds. I mean, the look on Abby's face was like more than me. I was so the process is she'll do braces for six months, 
go back to the surgeon, make sure all the bones are grown. He'll probably do x-rays and make sure everything is all set and done when the growth plates are done growing. Um, and then he said, at that point, I will know my summer schedule and I will put you on it. That surgery is high priority for me. I wanna make sure you get a time slot with me. Okay, sorry, my uh, SD card ran out of space. I think I kinda had to watch back to where I ended. <laughs> Didn't realize when it turned off. So the doctor said, we'll go in six months after she's had her braces on and he'll make sure everything is lined up and the bones are stopped growing and if that's in line, he'll put her on the schedule for next summer. He said, we also could see that she, maybe she's ready for a spring surgery if you wanna do it during spring. He's like, most people don't wanna do this when they're in school. I don't mind doing it in the summertime. If she's not ready, we'll push it to the winter and do it over her winter break. It'll kinda of have to overlap with like a week or so on either end with school, but he's like, Sometimes this works well because there's not finals around the holidays. So, shocking. Just absolutely shocked at the whole process, but this doctor has been fantastic. Just wants to take care of this for Abby. Yeah, he's in it for the surgery. He's still a doctor, but he wants it done for Abby. He knows that she wants braces on. He knows she wants to start that process regardless of surgery. She's been begging to have have braces on to l straighten her teeth. Like he knows that and he's like, I think we're ready. And that makes Abby very, very happy to start the process of just having braces on. And that means that we can go ahead and go forward with surgery. Now I was talking to my dad because I didn't really go into the details of the surgery, but the surgeon did say, she can have braces or she might be able to do it Invisalign. He said that'll depend on what your doctor says um, would be good for her teeth, which kind of confuses me because usually this surgery needs to have braces on in order to do, like they wire your jaw shut after they do this jaw surgery. So I don't really know what that means. If you do Invisalign, then do you have to have braces put on in order to have the surgery or has the surgery changed? Anyway, but then again, when I was talking to my dad, um, my brother has had this surgery, my niece has had this surgery, and now Abby is the third one in my family who has had, the, will have this surgery. Um, and my dad said that it was really interesting to watch my brother have it, because when they break the mandala bone, they break this jaw bone and w during the surgery, and they break it and they separate it so that they can move whatever jaw forward or backward that they need to, um, that breaks kind of the, the cartilage, um, and, it, and it softens all the bone and the muscles in the jaw when you're doing that kind of invasive surgery. And so he said, when you have the braces on after that surgery and you're letting everything set in place, and that's why they have done it in the past where they wire you shut, because they don't want any of those bones moving while they heal. But at the same time, the rest of the teeth are so malleable and the bones that are up in the gums, they're so malleable from having that surgery, they move really, really well and they move really, really fast. And that's a lot of the reason why they want you to have braces on is because you can do some quick work with um, the braces and the teeth um, in that month or two months time frame as the bones are softening or hardening back up. And I don't know how it all works, but my dad said it was just amazing to watch my brother go through that process um, because in the month that he had his jaw wired shut, and his teeth were crooked. They were crooked um, before he had the surgery. He is a band teacher and a clarinet player in professional orchestras. He goes and does the Utah Opera Company Orchestra um, and does performances all over the state of Utah every single summer. And his teeth are his money ticket. So his teeth were crooked. In one month, his teeth were completely straightened back to perfect teeth in one month and so I don't know I, this is a long little clip and an explanation I I almost didn't film today because I was like oh this will literally we're going from appointment to appointment to appointment today I went and got my retainer um, this morning with Kaylee at nine cute little retainer and then came home got Abby um, I went to the the over to Children's Hospital and then we went to her pediatrician appointment, um, but we had 
an hour to kind of kill so we went and got her some shoes um, she found some new Nikes that she bought herself and then um, sat and waited for 20 minutes got my little beverage went into the doctor to her pediatrician we're back to square one for her back and I had made the appointment on Utah time <laughs> we were an hour early and so now Abby wanted to come back home she has another eight minutes to be home. And literally that's all the, the amount of time you've hear, heard me talking, that's all we've been home for. And now we're gonna go back to the pediatrician and go back to square one with her back. So I wasn't even gonna film today, but I did not expect to get this news. Like I, I my mind is just blown. Absolutely just blown. Jason is so excited for her. Um, I'm gonna call his dad now and talk to him about it. Um, Abby was just, I wish you guys, I, I, I hope as she gets older, you guys can see some of her personality and, and maybe part of, maybe part of her hesitation to film is a lot of this, this pain that she's in and insecurities of herself um she was so happy to be you guys like i can't even tell you how happy she was driving home from the hospital she was giddy she was talkative she was hit me with all the car license plates that we see in the children's hospital parking lot People come from all over the country to go to Ch Seattle, Seattle Children's Hospital, and so she was so happy. She was just beaming, and she was like, I wanna go shopping, I wanna go get something to eat, I want to, like, she was so happy. And I wish I could show that to you, I just want you guys to know she's so happy. She's so excited to start this process. I'm gonna call the orthodontist as soon as I get home from this next appointment, um, and start her consult appointment. I'm gonna schedule that, um, cause that doesn't matter in terms of her recovery. I'm gonna get the consult done and then we're gonna get the insurance process started so that by the time the six weeks are up from her recovery, she can get her braces on. Like I'm not playing games. It took us six to eight weeks to get this surgery scheduled. So I'm not messing around. I'm gonna start this process today. Now, to the pediatrician. All right, without giving away any personal information, I have been going through, oh gosh, credit card statements, printing them out, making plans to make the payments. I have been mapping out all of Abby's medical plans and visits and finding doctors and reading up about them and reading about treatments. I haven't even followed up with you guys about the pediatrician but Jason just got home hang on Jason just got home and we're gonna go for a walk and to talk about parent things parent things <laughs> and tell him about the day and all the doctor visits and then I'll be back with you and I'll share you share with you kind of a little bit of a plan we have for Abby and her back so enjoy this little walk and we'll be back with you I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight Good job, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 I can't believe you love me. Oh, 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 I just feel so lucky. Oh, 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 I can't believe you love me. Hi Ash, I literally was just talking to dad asking if he's taking them tomorrow off 
and uh I was like, as soon as she sees me, she's gonna ask what we're doing tomorrow. And then that was the first thing you said to me. Yeah. So he's not sure if he's gonna take tomorrow off or not, but we will come up with something to do, okay? And Ashley, or Chelsea's pride flag. I kept forgetting to order it. So, ordered her little flag. She's not coming out by any means, but she just wants to, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't a problem either way, but she just wanted to support her friends. Yeah. Make sure everyone knows that they love Everyone. She has a lot of doing in her room. The net, that, uh -huh. re rearrange her pictures. Yeah, she's got a little bit of work to do after she gets home from camp. Yeah. Okay, I think I hear the kids. Oh no. The teenagers went to Target and bought baking supplies. So my kitchen, <laughs> which actually your sink is a disaster. You, you need to go and rinse. Bye, 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 Let bye, me stay bye, out here for a second. Put this on her bed. <sighs> I thought I'd have a quiet night. It's not a big deal. I, I just wanted a quiet house, but I've had it for a couple hours. So I shouldn't complain. But I am going to sign off with you guys. We're going to go in. Um, I may not shower right now. I'm just going to relax. But um, it'll be a noisy house, so there's no point in filming any longer. Um, just a quick update with Abby's pediatrician on her back and what we're going to do going forward. Um, we It's a whole bunch of things. Um, we are going to try acupuncture. And we're going to try therapy. I, I already have that set, getting set up. Um, and then she's just going to try getting out and going for walks every day and try and strengthen her back muscles. And then what else was it? Um, I, I think I have this right. Bio met, biofeedback therapy. Um, her orthopedic specialist um, referred us to a doctor who does this over at Children's Hospital and I just wanted to follow up with the pediatrician I'm like I don't know what this doctor does I don't know what this is is this really sh where we should go is this the route we should go and I'm still learning about it but she my pediatrician was like 100% this doctor is absolutely amazing at what she does and absolutely I think it will help Abby is it her solution for back pain I don't know, but it's going to teach her how her body reacts to stress. I don't, that's all I know how to describe what this doctor does is teaches you the biometrics of how your body reacts to stress and anxiety. Maybe that compiled with, um, the acupuncture with therapy, with physical activity, maybe we'll be able to like work through this. Um, we're also going to get a second opinion from an orthopedic surgeon, um, over at Swedish Hospital here in Issaquah. Um, she, my doctor said, as much as we all love Children's Hospital, sometimes you do need a second opinion. Maybe someone else needs to read the MRI. She's like, I'm still thinking it's a fracture. She's still presenting like a fracture. So she's like, I don't know. But it can't hurt to go and get a second opinion. If they say the exact same thing, then you're, then, you, then it's then we keep doing what we're doing. It's not gonna hurt. So that is our process. I've had to regurgitate all of that information to J to Jason tonight on our walk. It was very good and therapeutic for me to be able to like take notes today, work through everything, go to doctors' websites, start finding doctors, all that kind of stuff. Um, but then I it helps me to regurgitate the information to Jason, and I need to teach Abby how to regurgitate her feelings on all of this because that's something that's hard for her to do so thank you for coming along the ride with me today um ending this way as I kind of chat with you guys what we're going to do for her um she's got a little bit of a road ahead of her but hopefully over this next year we solve a lot of her problems it's a long road but you guys give her a lot of your support um, I send your messages to her. I take little screenshots and I send it to her. Um, so she is getting your messages. I know she's not on here very much, um, but she does know that you guys support her. So your thoughts are heard and they are felt. So take care and thank you. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you